Hey, it's Peter Bolin again, inviting you to join me and my dear friend Swami Harinamananda of the San Diego Vedanta Monastery as we join together in dialogue and presentation of a really rich topic this coming Tuesday, April 13th, and that is the Divine Feminine in India and the West. Let's look at some of the ways that the Divine or the Sacred shows up as the Goddess throughout Indian mythology and religion and in the West. Join us for this webinar and dialogue. See you on Tuesday, April 13th. Hello and happy spring. I'd like to invite you to a most enjoyable hour of music. Orchestral music for the movies, class 236, Friday, April 16th, from 3 to 4 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The film industry has motivated the creation of wonderful music, the evolution of outstanding technology, and employed many of the finest composers of our lifetime. Dramatic, romantic, heroic, all nuances of life and love are musically presented. So maybe you would like to pop a little popcorn and join me on April 16th. Thank you. Hi, this is Catherine Whitley. In class number 414, I'm going to take you to Antarctica. We're going to also see a little bit of South America. That'll be Machu Picchu in Peru. We're going to take you on a cruise around the Galapagos Islands, see a lot of the sea life there. And then we head to Antarctica, where it's cold. Even in the summer, it's cold. So join me, class number 414 on Friday, April 16th at 11 a.m. So I'll see you then. Till then, stay warm. Hello, everyone. My name is Mary Burns, and I teach technology classes at Oasis. I want to tell you about an exciting topic, which will be featured on April 15th. And best of all, it has nothing to do with taxes. We've all heard the term, but what exactly is the cloud? Where is it? Is it safe? And most importantly, Am I on it? In this introductory class, you'll learn the basics of the cloud and the benefits and challenges of the cloud. If you want to know what the hype is all about, then this class is for you. Join us on April 15th at 10 a.m. as we learn about the mysteries and facts about the cloud. Hi, I'm Blaine Davies. Of all of our presidents, Thomas Jefferson remains the most enigmatic. How could the man who penned the words, all men are created equal, own slaves? Jefferson promoted a frugal, fiscally responsible government, yet lived lavishly and died deeply in debt. He claimed he believed in a strict interpretation of the Constitution, yet he authorized the Louisiana Purchase, in spite of doubting whether the Constitution even permitted him to do it. Please join me on Tuesday, April 13th at one o'clock Pacific time when we explore the life and many contradictions of the scientist, architect, farmer, astronomer, scholar, and statesman that served as our nation's third president. Do you speak American or do you speak English? Have you ever wondered how the American dialect separated from its parent English dialect, British English that is? And have you wondered how American regional dialects developed and how class-based dialects developed and how ethnic dialects developed. If you want to know the answers, please join me on April 12th and 13th at 1 p.m. where we will explore American dialects. I'm Henry George and I hope to see you there. Hello, I'm Larry Solomon. You know, many people around the world, including the United States, still hold beliefs that are rooted in superstition and a counterfactual understanding of reality. In my lecture on Wednesday, April 14th at one o'clock, entitled 21st Century Cognition, six topics will be explored with up-to-date insights offered to help move one's cognition into the 21st century. I hope you'll join me then. Earthquakes are not something that we easily forget. And even more than a century after San Francisco suffered the horrendous earthquake of 1906, generations of people, many of whom weren't even alive then, have never forgotten. This is the story of the fiery ordeal, three days in San Francisco's history that they will never forget. 
the names and the faces, the people that became famous then, and the damage of an incredible earthquake. It reads almost like folklore, but it really happened. This is the story of the fiery ordeal, the 1906 San Francisco earthquake and fire. 